I have not played MX Race 8 TV All Out in about a year, just before Legends was released. Uh, lately, I just got the itch to come back and play it and uh, give it a review because I've never done that on this channel. So uh, let's not make this video too long and let's get right into this uh, review. The first thing I gotta talk about with All Out is how damn quick the AI is in this game. It took me probably 15 races before I finally won a race uh, on all time because they basically clap your cheeks the whole goddamn time. If you make a mistake or go off the track, the AI will pass you and leave your ass in the dust so it really keeps you on your toes to want to be perfect and not make too many mistakes because you have to worry about getting your ass passed. And also if you get a bad start or you come near them, they just take you out or shoot you off the goddamn track. So the AI is no joke in this game. I think it's the best AI I've ever seen in a motocross game that I can remember. Um, obviously coming from playing Legends, where the AI is the worst in any motocross game that has ever been released. They are so bad in that game. Coming back to All Out, it was a reality check to how slow you can be at this game. And uh, it was quite the learning curve to actually figure out how to beat the AI. Uh, the bike setup was quite a, had quite a lot to do with that, but also practice was key. Yeah, the AI is just no joke in this game. They do not mess around. It's one of my favorite things about this game. And hopefully, again, in Legends, they can actually update the AI. Because I'm a single player guy, so I quite enjoy doing single player races. That's pretty much my thing. Free riding is honestly one of the most fun things about All Out. And that's something that I'm not usually a fan of doing too often is just free riding. But the maps in All Out are so amazing, especially this map that has the dunes on it. There's a bunch to choose from. You can actually free ride on any of the tracks, any of the Supercross Nationals, any of the free ride tracks. You can free ride on all of them, which is pretty, pretty fucking cool. And it also gives you a map so that way you can uh, teleport to each location. It is a really cool feature. But there's so many friggin' lines that you can hit in this dune area. And if you just keep exploring, there's so much stuff to do. Uh, the developers did such a good job with the free riding in this game. I think it's one of the best features that this game has to offer. Even if you're just free riding on some of the Supercross or National tracks, there's so much to do. You, it's so hard to get bored, and especially if you have some friends that you want to play with, there is a lot to do. This game has the best DLC that we've seen in a long time, especially for motocross games. Usually the DLC is very weak for these types of games. Uh, but All Out has awesome DLC. It's got about 15 or 16 arena cross tracks, which are so fun to ride on, especially against the AI because, like I said, they're quick. It's got the 2019 and 2020 Pro Motocross DLC, I believe, which, of course, for like 15, 20 bucks, you can't really go wrong. They're so fun to ride on, and uh, you don't get these tracks in any other game unless you're playing uh, custom tracks on Reflex, of course. And you also have the Goat Farm DLC, which you could free ride on, do races on the national track or on the Supercross tracks. This game by far has the best DLC. And I think when you compare this game to Legends DLC, Slay Ground is okay, but the Goat Farm is way better. Obviously, both games have the Promoter Cross DLCs. But uh, Legends does not have the Arena Cross DLC. This game does. And since I bought all the DLC for very cheap because it was on sale, I spent maybe $7 on all of the DLC, and uh, I'm definitely getting my money's worth because there's so much content to this game, and uh, you, it's really hard to get bored because there's just so much that this game has to offer in terms of tracks and uh, stuff to do. Next, we gotta talk about how you can absolutely shred the titties in these corners. You can rail the berms like fucking crazy. You come into them at 100 kilometers an hour and just absolutely shred it. That's one thing I love about this game is the amount of grip that you actually have. Um, and the fact that you can actually slow down super quickly in this game too. It's got that classic MX vs ATV feel, but also a bit of that modern motocross game feeling as well. And uh, the speed of the game, the traction, like how easily you can slow down, it just works so well, especially on the pro motocross tracks. You just fly into the corners, you rarely have to um, break. It's basically just full throttle through the corners and turn and your bike just sticks to the ground. It's pretty awesome. And uh, coming from, Le again, coming from Legends where the game is often kind of slippery, at least it used to be, and then coming back to All Out, you realize how much grip that there actually is in this game. It is insane. One of my favorite things that the game has to offer. And uh, I'll never get bored of it. 
one of the best things that this game has to offer, I keep saying this, but I think the main thing that attracted people to this game and why people enjoyed it is the free whip mechanic. We have been asking for this for so long from Milestone and they have just not delivered. And uh, the oppo whip mechanic that they introduced in this game is so sexy, especially if you're just going in free ride. You can hit some fucking insane whips and lines. Every time you throw a whip, it just looks so nice. Yes, you can fuck it up. It is a little challenging to get used to at first. But once you get them down, they look so nice. They feel great. And uh, it's just so sad, again, to see how Milestone just cannot implement free whips. But the developers for this game introduced an amazing mechanic. And uh, I have no complaints about it, really. The scrubbing is not perfect, I guess. But you can still scrub. You can still, you can throw insane whips. I would say it's probably the highlight of this game for many people is the whips. It's one of the best looking things that we have had since Reflex, by far. One feature that All Out has that I wish Legends would bring back is the Brop feature, or whatever you call it. You can customize your AI for the races, and with mods on PC, you can have pretty much a full AMA lineup if you want. Even without the mods, you can still make a full AMA lineup, or if you want to make some funny names, whatever, you can do that too. It was such a cool feature to have in this game, and uh, I really wish they would bring it back for Legends because it's it's not an insanely important feature, but it's still really cool. Uh, there is a bug with it though that when you race on a DLC track, it won't give you your custom AI until you change the settings or something like that. So that's it is a little buggy, but nonetheless, it is a very cool feature that should be brought back. A lot of the uh, motocross national tracks in this game, the stock ones, they aren't very good at all. They're very wide, wide open, one-lined, no crazy jumps really. The AI can be actually kind of challenging at some of these tracks, but at the same time, the, these a lot of these stock national tracks are not fun. The Supercross and the Arena Cross and the National DLC tracks, they're all amazing. But the stock national tracks in this game are very lacking. Um, and I never, hardly ever play them. Another quick little thing that I miss about All Out is the series. You can do a promoter cross series or any other series really in this game. That's something that Legends has not really had. It just has a basic kind of career. But with this game, it's nice to do series once in a while. Um, a, a little feature that I wish would be brought back. I remember I used to really like the menu that this game has to offer. But after playing Legends, you come back to this. I think it's a bit too complicated and a bit too much. It's a bit... Um, it should be a bit more simple. Not a bad menu, but it is a bit overcomplicated, in my opinion, with the sliding menus. And sometimes it can get confusing and you can get lost. I really used to like the tuning that this game had to offer, how you could fine-tune every little detail about the bike. But coming back to it, I honestly prefer the way Legends has done it. How it's a bit more basic but at the same time you can still tune the bike to how you want. In All Out it's just a bit too hard and complicated to find a right setup and uh, I don't like how you can fine tune it that specifically. Um, I'm not playing a simulator so I don't think I should be able to do it that crazy. It's just uh, it's not a bad tuning setup obviously but it's, I prefer the one in Legends. For customization there is a lot of gear to choose from. You're gonna be happy with pretty much whatever gear you like in real life. This game has it, and uh, there's there's a, there's a lot to the game, so you're not going to get bored. You're going to be happy with that. What, in terms of customizing like the number plates on your bikes and the colors of shit, it's a very weird system how they've done it. Instead of just picking like a color square that you see, you have to adjust these numbers, and it's a very confusing system. Pretty terrible, and I'm glad that they scrapped it for Legends because, again, it's a terrible system. But there is a good amount of bike graphics to choose from. And gear and helmets and all that, there's plenty of stuff to choose from, so you're gonna be happy there. By far, the worst thing about MX vs. ATV All Out is the bike sounds. Everybody knows this. They just sound straight up like a vacuum cleaner. It's like those MXGB2 bike sounds. Straight up vacuum cleaner, just donkey brain, doo doo absolute shit sounds um once you really notice them you can't unnotice them sometimes if you're just chilling you don't pay attention to them too much but the bike sounds sometimes just completely wreck your enjoyment for this game uh, i'm i really hope for their next title they just scrap these bike sounds i don't care if they're still bad bike sounds just get rid of these ones because 
they're not enjoyable. Like, they sound nothing like dirt bikes. When the bikes are idling, like the two-strokes and four-strokes, they sound fine. But uh, once you start hitting the throttle, your, uh, uh, your ears are just going to bleed because the bike sounds are so disgustingly bad. Uh, by far, the worst bike sounds ever. They're, I hope they never return because, again, my ears hurt and... Uh, no, I don't think anybody actually likes these bike sounds. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we never see these return because they are just straight up terrible. One more thing I hate about All Out is if you push wide a little bit and you go into these banners that are around the tracks, sometimes you just get a weird bounce off of them, like, and it sends you back or you get stuck on them. It's a very weird kind of bug glitch that has never been fixed. I think maybe because the uh, the sticks that are holding the banners up, um, I think they're in front of the banners sometimes. So I think that's what it really is. But it's very annoying when this actually does happen. Um, it, it's one of the things that makes me rage quit when I play this game. It's just a very weird mechanic and physic and uh, not very fun. And to this day, it still has not been fixed. The last thing I really kind of dislike about this game, I don't know if it's just in my setup or what, but it seems like you rarely get out of second gear. Once you go into third, you kind of just bog. Unless you're on a wide open national, you can get into third gear. But you never touch fourth gear, never touch fifth, or you're just bogging like crazy. Um, maybe it's the manual transmission. Um, I think the automatic transmission might actually be decent or better in this game because manual, uh, you never really get out of second or you bog. And if you're in first, you're over revving the bike like crazy. So you're pretty much in second gear the whole track. Uh, no matter what track you're on, basically, especially in Supercross. So that's just a little bit of a bug or something that I noticed that I didn't like. I guess the last thing that I want to say about this review is first person. It's uh, decent in this game. Uh, when you throw whips, it kind of... Uh, your guy doesn't look ahead. He looks where the bike's looking, and it kind of makes you a little sick. It's not the best when you're throwing whips, but when you're riding around corners and stuff like that and you're not throwing whips, the first person's pretty decent. Um, it's not as good as Legends, but it's not not a bad first person. I think if you're a first person player, you probably enjoy it. But again, with the whips, it's something you'd have to get used to because I honestly got a little bit of motion sickness or something. It kind of threw me off. But uh, first person's decent in this game. So that's pretty much all I got to say about this review for All Out. If I were to give it a score out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8. Um, the only, again, there's only a few things that I really dislike about the game. The bike sounds, it is kind of a bit too bouncy. Uh, the customization when you're changing the colors, some of the weird barrier physics. Um, other than that though, man, this game, especially right now in 2023, it's a phenomenal game. I highly recommend picking it up, especially if it's on sale. Um, it's, it, it's kind of a bit to get used to, but once you figure it out, it's a lot of fun. And I think this is one of the better games that we have had in recent years. Uh, so All Out gets an 8, 8 out of 10 for me. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, take care.